Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Roxy. I'm here with another wig review from YS Wigs. In the box here, this beautiful box, they have provided me with a pack of combs, um, a wig cap, and the unit, of course. So the unit that I'll be styling in this video is their 12 inch natural wave lace front wig. And I've also left the link in the description box below to where you can look at all the details of the wig and you can also purchase the wig if you'd like and they're also offering you a coupon code. So just looking at the lace, it has a nice deep part. It looks like it's about six inches. It has three combs, two at the sides and one at the back. And it also has adjustable straps. So the hair texture is soft, of course. And I'm just placing the wig on my head just to see how it fits. And you're going to see that I'm tucking the lace cap back because it is a little bit light and it's showing through the lace. So it looks like I won't be needing it. And I'm just placing it on my head to see how well it fits. And once I figure that out and I see how comfortable it feels, I'm going to start by cutting the lace. So to cut the lace. I am just going to be tucking my hair away using some clips, well just one clip. So I'm just going to use a clip to tuck my hair out the way so that I don't cut any hair that I don't want to cut in the process. So I'm just starting um, from one side, I'm cutting all the way around to the other side. So I will be using my got to be my got to be gel to slick down my edges first. So I'm going to be slicking them all the way back and that's going to count as my first layer for sticking the glue for sticking the wig onto my hair. And then once I brush that in, I'm going to go in with another layer. So the second layer is going to be used as the adhesive and I'm going to also be putting the second layer a little bit further beyond my hairline and I'm going to be leaving it a little bit more tacky and not blending it as blending it in as much once I put that layer on, once I put that layer on I am going to go over with some got to be free spray And this is going to make the adhesive process a little bit stronger. So now I'm just bringing the wig forward to lay onto my hairline. Once I um, press down the major areas, which is like the front and the sides and all around the perimeter, I'm going to take my rat tail comb and kind of smooth it out. I'm just taking the rat tail comb and smoothing it out. And I'm just adding some free spray wherever I feel like it just needs an, some extra security, some extra hold. And then with my blow dryer on a cool setting, just drying that down. This lace front comes with baby hairs okay so they are a little bit long so I'm going to be cutting them shorter so I'm just pulling them out and separating them from the rest of the wig
the cap was a little bit bigger around the sides so i was able to just cut off the extra lace around the side so i'm going to be doing that to the left and the right side so once i've cut off the extra lace on each side what i've done after was just re um just re-gluing it to the sides of my hair because it did lift up while i was cutting it Right now I'm just using my headscarf to lay down and just to tie down the perimeter of my head to kind of set the glue in place and I leave this on for about 10 minutes. So far at this point I'm really impressed with how the lace blends in with my scalp without needing a wig cap and without any foundation. So now I'm just cutting the baby hairs a little bit shorter. Just giving them a good trim. And I'm gonna be using some got to be gel to create my baby hairs. To define the curls, I'm using my Nairobi Foaming Mousse. So you can use any mousse to achieve this, um, or even water, but you're gonna need something that's gonna make it set. So mousse is the number one go-to. As soon as I took the wig out of the package, I knew that I wanted to define the curls with mousse um, because the waves were not as defined they were um like a very slight wave i just wanted to define it more and just give it some more edge so the mousse definitely worked well with this with this look So now I'm just adding some foundation to the part uh, to make it blend more and look more and match my skin tone, sorry. It could have done without it, but I just wanted to um, just further make it look more natural. To make the part look more realistic, I went ahead and added some of my foundation. The wig could have done without it because the lace was very natural. Uh, one thing I love about this wig is how versatile it is. The part is so deep. You can make a nice deep middle part. 
you can flip the part over to the other side if you like your part on the other side you can do a half up half down style you can have everything coming back or you can just leave it how it is so this is the final look guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to YS Wigs for providing the wig. If you have any comments, just leave one below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.